Kashmira has already recovered one of her remote cameras, and Steve's been called to the kit tent. Hi, Kashmira. I, I heard yes, you've got so something you. good on your camera yes. traps. Nice looking barking deer. That's fantastic. And anything else? Then, and then no this way! Is exciting. It's a cloud it's leopard. Yeah. Beautiful cloud. What a beautiful it's shot. It's this is fantastic. Yeah. This is absolutely sensational. This is, this is exactly the same riverbed where we found what we took to be clouded leopard scat. The clouded leopard is one of the most elusive, difficult animals in the whole world to film, and this is conclusive evidence that there is one living not more than a couple of miles away from camp. Looking for tracks and signs is detective work. It's almost like putting all the, the parts of a puzzle together, and to find you know this at the end of it, conclusive proof that it all added up to the right signs is just incredibly exciting. The rare clouded leopard raises their hopes that there will be other big cats here too. But they hadn't counted on an early monsoon. This is total madness. Just a couple of seconds ago, it was absolutely nothing, completely calm, and from nowhere, massive gust wind, and look at this. <laughs> Full-on hailstone just come pelting down. It's like wandering around in a, in a cloud of bullets just falling from the heavens. Yeah, only last year. 30 metres up a tree, Justine stranded. worst that could happen. We've been listening to this storm all evening, hoping that it was going to pass us by, but it's just hit the whole full strength of it right above our heads. Even the crickets scurrying for cover. Oh, it's not a good situation. Lightning is right overhead now. This is rain. Jeez! Base camp is in danger of blowing away. We're going to try and tether everything down, try and keep it from taking off, which is what it's trying to do at the moment. Last night's storm disappeared as quickly as it arrived. Justine survived. Just. After the storm, the forest is alive with birds. Justine spied some hornbills on the other side of the clearing. There's a hornbill just blown in. It's having a good long look around. Hornbills eat fruit, small mammals and reptiles. Throughout Asia, they're renowned targets for hunters. Their presence suggests there's less poaching here than elsewhere. Near a base camp, Tewang's mist nets have caught something just as dazzling. Hey Chang, what else you got? Blue-throated barbet. Blue-throated barbet. Oh, that's God. Oh, that is stunning. What a splendid-looking chap. Every bird's vital statistics are recorded. He's a star. A pygmy kingfisher poses for its place in the report, which George will ultimately present to the government of Bhutan. <laughs> 